The installation Espace Vectorial is a conjunction of sound, light and movement. The elementary unit of this reactive kinetic environment is a simple motorized tube with a speaker and a light source within. By building a society of these elements, a group of eight, a simple scheme becomes complex and intriguing. The motorized tube is 4 feet long and has 2 degrees of freedom, 360 degrees continuous rotation and 170 degrees tilt capacities. All the axes are independent, giving a total of 16 degrees of freedom. The motors of each robot are several controlled. Each unit has a local feedback system that receives high-level data from the computer. Located at the bottom of each tube, there is a speaker linked to a specific sound source. The installation soundtrack is then the result of eight independent voices generated in real time. Also at the base of the tube, there is a light source linked to a dimming unit. The light ambience is derived from each robot's independent sources. When the tubes are moving, not only the physical structure is altered, but also the sound and light directionality, creating an evolving dynamic diffusion system. Eight ultrasound sensors are located around the periphery of the group. They detect the presence or absence of viewers. By using this non-intrusive device, the viewers are free to move around the space while the system is able to track their movements. The computer manages the various sensing stimuli from the environment. Inside the machine, choreographies, scenarios and behaviors of all the medias are stored, generated and synchronized. Inspired by concepts of artificial life, Espace Vectoriel wants to animate inert objects and implant behaviors. Replication, rituals, hierarchy, organic compositions, artificial life, chaos, the collective versus the individual, are all among the explored behaviors addressed by the installation. The environment is a reactive system. The viewers do not gain control over the installation, but rather alter the behavior of the tubes by their simple presence and movement. The dialogue is installed as an indirect response to the viewer and its influence on the system. This section tries to evoke organic behaviors. This excerpt uses random generation of parameters. Pan and tilt, tempo, sound voice selection, pitch duration and light levels. Withdrawal from a particular tube arises when a viewer is in its proximity. The tube then performs a short sequence of actions around the viewer's position. Another behavior deals with automated rhythms generation map onto sound, light, and movement. In the robot's final position, the displacement of the viewers relative to each tube alters eight seeds to the rhythm generator. Overall and continuous variations are created either by self-decisions of the system or by the flow of the surrounding crowd, and planting a flavor of chaos to an organized framework. A flocking behavior makes the group perform erratic movements targeted to the most crowded side of the installation. Modifications to the flocking parameters are derived from the activity of the people within this side, the system deciding to move a single tube or any combinations of them. The probing and confrontative reactions of the flock to the viewers consequently induce a reaction from the viewers themselves. Espace Vectoriel invites the viewer to explore an unusual world manufactured solely of sound and light objects. These objects will evolve, constantly creating altered artificial architectures. <laughs>